Hi my friends, let's model the part number 61 curved pipe connection from my collection of 100 parts. The picture of this part is this one. As you can see, uh, uh, we discuss about a pipe which has uh, a special configuration. Let's take a look at the drawing. As you can see, there are two planes of construction for this uh, junction or uh, connection of pipes and two identical flanges at the ends. Uh, we start with creating this uh, axis, curved, a curved axis. We continue with this, then we place here a, a circular crown with diameters 30 and 40 at this level to apply then a sweep for uh, creating the main volume. Let's start. The first plane is XY and the uh, drawing is simple for us, yes, just for us because we know to create such kind of shapes. 110 minus 20 is the distance from here to the base of the curve. Radius 23 and 30. These are first three uh, dimensions. The radius is 23. This is important because it scales the sketch. 110 minus 20 and 30. Okay, finish first sketch. Now I create a plane rotated around this axis to be the plane for the next sketch. We select the same XY plane to see that it contains the sketch and now plane based on this plane and this axis with an angle of 33 after 108. This means 108 plus 30 <coughs> this plane uh, 30 degrees is here yes this is 30 degrees and I created this plane where I want to place uh, this contour we are here yes and I continue with an arc and a line the arc is also radius 23 like this one and the distance is uh, uh, 76 minus 23 minus 20 yes okay let's create this sketch I project this line project because it is not in our sketch even if it is there I want I need to pro to project and now I activate the tool line but I I draw an arc you see and then a line the radius of the of this arc is the same with this I select this and the distance, the length, 
I'll measure it from this line to uh, have not an, uh, a complicated uh, expression. 76 minus 20. Okay. Finish sketch. It's plain, not necessary to be visible. Now I create these uh, two circles to create a circular crown at the end of this uh, axis. The end of this axis is here, yes, and I create a sketch. Two circles, 30 and 40. 30 and 40. Good. Finish sketch. And now uh, sweep. Yes. This circular crown about this um, curve. A message from inventor, no problem, and this is the result. Now I create this contour to apply revolve about this axis to obtain the first flange. Dimensions are 20, 60 degrees. 10 and that's all. Oh, there is also 104 the diameter of the flange, external diameter. The plane is XY and uh, the drawing is based on this projected lines. This one and this one because we have to draw some lines here. Connected with these two points. These are parallel. And now dimensions, 20. Angle. of uh, 60 divided by 2, 10, and the diameter of uh, 104, but let me uh, project geometry, the y-axis, uh, convert it to center line, and then uh, dimension 104 as diameter. Fully constrained. Finish sketch. Revolve. OK. The same profile is needed here. We have a plane to apply a sketch F7 project uh, geometry this line and this line as uh, before uh, an axis a line I, I cannot project another axis because there is no an axis and let's create the profile disable center line line and close parallel these two lines 
angle of uh, 60 divided by 2, 10, um, 20, and that's all. No, 104 is the last, and now it's fully constrained. Finish sketch, revolve, axis, OK, accept. This is the main construction. Yes, very interesting. Now there are some holes for on the each uh, flange on a diameter of 90 with uh, holes of uh, 8. Good. We start with this one. F7 line. We have a new style of work. The length is 90 divided by 2. And the end is for uh, placing a point. Hole 8 millimeters through. OK. And then circular pattern for this only hole about this axis for instances this face a sketch this is the center point yes line vertical with the length of 90 divided by 2 point finish sketch and hole but you, as you can see not through now the hole is uh, through so I have to select this and the face and face for the hole okay circular pattern this feature about this axis for instances again good still cast aspect still cast and this face and this face to be machined polished and now let's create this uh, protrusion with a hole of metric 8 which is placed at uh, 110 plus 46 from the flange and with a diameter of 16 radius 4 plane one hundred minus 110 minus 46 OK, sketch, circle of 16 diameter placed on the same horizontal with this center point and at a distance, as you can see, this is 46 and uh, the hole is placed in the middle. So the distance is 46 
divided by 2. 46 divided by 2. Finish sketch. Extrude to the part or to next. Okay. The plane visibility. Then uh, uh, fillet four. Okay. Then a hole, but I need to know how deep is this hole because I cannot uh, show this. So I uh, I'll place the deep to half of 46. Yes, from here, from the face, half of uh, 46. Good. Hole. Metric 8. Face. Concentricity. And distance of 46 divided by 2. Okay. Now the properties are here two kilograms and a quarter. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.